G'day guys, Tors20 here and welcome to part 2 of episode 25 where we are modelling, we are building the domestic terminal of Springwood. Last episode, well the first part of this episode I should say, um, we began the layout of this terminal and uh, worked on the road networks and the monorail system and the parking and where the plane sits and we are building this based off uh, Sydney domestic terminal as well so I'm um, you know pulling a lot of inspiration from there but I mean that is pretty much it in terms of what we're pulling inspiration from because I'm going pretty rogue um, as of now um, as you can see I'm, I'm now placing down a uh, in, in and out burger that um I, I think it's like a, a burger chain that is uh, primarily in LA I, I think it actually might only be in LA um, even like more exclusive to just the airport. I'm not completely sure. Um, I went there a couple of months ago and I missed out on actually eating there. And, but I did see it from the car. And um, I think it fits really nicely for this theme. I mean, Springwood is a bit of a Los Angeles theme, but at the same time I'm modeling this airport off um, Sydney. So, you know, it's a splice full of different uh, places of inspiration, I guess, for me. Um, but yeah, like like I said, I'm going rogue. I'm just building this area kind of based off my own imagination and Like I'm really really happy with how this terminal turns out um, At the end of the episode we'll be going into a live play where I can go through a bit more of the detail and the ins and outs of how this airport function It functions really really well apart from one thing and that is it doesn't function Hmm that's that's a that's a big that's a big pain that you ask for me. I really really want this airport functioning, and at the moment I'm only getting aircraft going into the other side of the terminal, which is the international side. The domestic side, the side that we're building right now, nothing's landing. No planes are going to the uh, plane stands. It's the the. Uh, the terminal's dead, which is so frustrating, and um, I can't really figure out what's going on. Um, if you have, if you're experienced in building custom airports in city skylines, um, can you just listen up because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I've done and let me know what you think I can do to fix the problem. So, episode twenty-four, uh, I basically built the layout of this airport and it functioned fine like the domestic side was getting aircraft the international side was getting aircraft and all three runways runways were being used for some reason as soon as I started building and rearranging the the plane stands that's when I stopped getting aircraft coming onto um, one of my runways the only thing I can think that I changed was I used move it to maybe change a couple of the runways and even change a couple of the taxi ways. I've also deleted some of the plane stands and built them again, I guess. In a nutshell, any new plane stands that I build, I won't get any aircraft going near it. It won't spawn any new aircraft, no... Uh, no tourists will leave Springwood. The only ones that are functioning are the ones that I built a while ago, and that's only going to the international side. I'm pretty sure the problem lies with the fact that I've deleted plane stands and I've used movement, but then the things that I've done to fix that problem is I've, I've actually gone through and deleted every taxiway and every runway and painted them down again. Um, I've built really basic runways and taxiways and still no aircraft go on it. Um, I've placed down vanilla international and uh, the just the regular uh, airports and they get traffic. They get tons and tons of traffic so it's nothing to do with population. It, it's so frustrating and I don't really know what's going on and uh, and it's to the point where like I'm I'm not just gonna build a domestic terminal and not have anybody using it so like 
just kind of like thinking, like getting past it and going like, oh, well, at least the international side's getting some traffic. I want the domestic side getting traffic as well. I, I definitely don't want to just build this and not have any traffic coming towards it. No matter what, I, no matter what custom, no matter what road, uh, so taxiways and runways I paint down, it seems to have no difference. Nothing will land on those things. Um, hit me up in the comments below because I really want this problem fixed and um, I've probably spent more time fixing this problem than I have actually building this uh, airport and that's really annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. So um, I love your advice guys because I've scoured the internet far and wide and I can't figure out how to fix it at all. Like on a more positive note, the international terminal is getting tons of traffic. There's like queues of uh, cars and it's super popular. So I am getting planes landing, which is still good, but I'd want the domestic side to get in the same amount of traffic. You, The way I fix that in terms of getting traffic coming into this airport, um, I'll show you how I fix that. But um, basically I hired a, uh, like a whole bunch, maybe about 13 or 14, uh, crowd spawners that basically parks and um, lots of people will spawn and will go towards it I hide them uh, like all over their in domestic uh, terminal Which means that I am still getting a lot of traffic coming through this terminal. However, those people aren't Catching any flights or you know aren't coming from anywhere. They're just they're just coming to the terminal Which in my mind is not good enough. So definitely help me out guys. I'm really really much appreciate it um Apart from that, I am super happy we've had this terminal turns out. Right now I'm beginning work on the other terminal within this terminal. <laughs> it's um, What I think it is, is I, I, I think I called it a flight school in the last part of this episode. Um, however, I'm pretty sure it's probably just for more smaller regional flights around um, Springwood. I mean, we're looking at Australia here, but I think, um, you know, I'm going to use this as, you know, Flights that are probably going to go to smaller towns around um, the Springwood, Springwood region. Um, maybe for some flight schools, I don't know, I feel like that might not be a thing. And um, and also you'll see me I'll build like a bit more of a private uh, docking area. Docking, that's definitely not the term for it, but um, whatever. Like I said before, I'm not an airport guy, I've got no idea, I'm only basing this off the markings and the layout I can see from um, Google Earth. If I could get some exclusive little planes flying around this little area, I can't really think about, I can't really think of how to do that. You know, if you can make one area just exclusive to small planes or even helicopters. Actually, I'm pretty sure that helicopters exist within the I think it's a natural disasters update, or not the update, but the actual expansion pack. I don't own that expansion pack, but if um if helicopters actually are in that expansion pack, I might get it just for this little area because I would like to see a little bit more life driving around, flying around this area. Let me know if that's true or not. But I do really like how this little terminal turns out, even if it's not a functioning little spot. I'm also trying to size up these little aircraft hangers I've got. Uh, they're just they're just a little bit too small for some of the larger aircraft, which is a shame because they're super pretty. Um, I've got some of the smaller ones, as you can see on the right hand side, for some of the smaller, really really small aircraft that I have. What I'm doing right now is uh, an area that I'm super proud of and um, something that. Is a, is a massive game changer in terms of building the aesthetic of this airport. Right at this particular spot, I'm modeling, I'm detailing a private uh, airstrip, not airstrip, a private plane stand where just a couple of uh, jets are sitting. But what I'm doing with these docks that are made by Ronix, these are, um, this texture that I'm using is texture used for a dock. However, I'm using it to just change the the texture of the ground. The reason why I'm really happy with how this area turns out is because if you look at these your pictures from Google Earth, airports aren't just painted with one color. You know, kind of like a road tarmac, it, there's going to be wear and tear. And where there's wear and tear, they've changed 
the texture of the ground. And that always bothered me in my airport. Now that I'm using these little squares, they I think it fits in really, really nicely and um, just adds just a whole bunch of different uh, color and difference to my airport. You'll see me later on, I'll copy and paste that uh, little area all around my airport and um, I think it's a massive game changer. Definitely try it out if you're building a custom airport, which, man, I mean, I've had a lot of fun building this domestic terminal, but it has been a massive pain in the ass. Uh, using the custom runways and taxiways, it's um, definitely really, really tricky. And even painting down the road markings for the taxiways, like all this stuff is just hugely, massively inconvenient and um, very tedious. Um, I didn't enjoy it as much. However, I do really enjoy the way it looks and um, I really enjoy the way this airport looks. The airport has actually been a project I've been dreading. I mean, I get probably about 50, not 50, but I get a lot of people asking when's the airport coming, when's the airport coming, and I've just been putting it off because I knew it would be a massive pain. It has been a massive pain, but I've actually really enjoyed it. So. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're putting off an airport in your city, I, I highly just suggest you just get into it because you might find it's quite enjoyable. Um, even if you don't go into as much detail as me, even if you go to more detail, it's it's quite it's quite rewarding. You know, painting down all these lines and getting into all these all the nitty gritty of the details. It's um enjoyable. Actually, like getting into that, somebody mentions uh. I don't know if you've seen the video that I posted about building a realistic city, but um, you know, I, I got a couple of people kind of had a bit of a discussion about how I'm sucking the fun out of city skylines, and um, it made me laugh because it's kind of true. I feel like I'm going to so much amount of detail for you know for what purpose? Um, what purpose? Well, I actually really really enjoy the process of building uh, something that is realistic. You know, so often I will drive around or I'll, you know, go to different areas and it, like, I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I feel inspired. I feel inspired of that area and the inspirations, it's a weird inspiration because you kind of feel like you want to build your own, you know, like I might go to town hall in Sydney and I feel a bit inspired. Like, it's, it's a weird inspiration because it's not like I can create a city. It's not like I can build exactly Town Hall in Sydney. However, I do feel inspired. And it's not until I've, you know, discovered games like City Skylines where I can actually channel my inspiration into something else where I can look at places like Town Hall or, you know, places that I've visited around the world and channel my inspiration into kind of my own projects. And then, you know, before, you know, going down the YouTube path, it's um, it's only really just been to myself, building my own cities. It's totally just my own thing. Um, so it's, I find it really fun sharing it with you guys and getting your feedback. That's where I find the enjoyment. There, I mean, there is no, I'm not using this game to feel like I'm, uh, managing a city because I'm not like as you can see down there there is no money being channeled into this city or in in terms of functioning the city doesn't function that well because I mean it's giants and I don't think any city in City Skylines has ever been designed to be as big as Springwood so getting back to it all I have massive enjoyment in having a blank canvas and then creating something that I felt inspired about. Just like drawing a picture, just like painting a picture, it's exact, it feels exactly the same thing, except the difference between drawing a picture and City Skylines is that people can interact with it and even the game mechanics can interact with it, which I think is, I think is pretty exciting. The fact that, you know, this is a living, breathing canvas and I can uh, see how it's you know, operates and see how the mechanics of the game operates within the game and, you know, get people's feedback and hear what people have to say. It's, um, it's, it's damn cool. It's, um, it's, it's something that is like, it's been the massive highlight for my year and, um, and I'm really excited to, 
see what next year has and um, you know if you're kind of thinking that this might just be a channel that I have created purely just for City Skylines well I actually play a lot of other games that are based on um, simulation and games that are based on you know me building and creating I'm pretty keen to get back into other games and actually put them up on my channel if you've got any games that you think I should be playing, any games you want me to be posting on my channel, definitely hit me up because I'm about three days out of about six weeks holidays and I'm going to need some extra games apart from City Skylines, so definitely hit me up. Uh, what I'm doing right now is adding the finer details into this airport. A um, couple of the spots that I'm doing are some, uh, some security fences. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this would be a thing. I mean, I've spoken about this so many times, but I think back to GTA getting into the airport and I can think back to how hard it was because there's already security fences. I reckon that it'd be very similar within real life and um, I definitely want that for Springwood. Um, it's the 80s, however, let's not go crazy. Let's um, let's definitely secure our fences um, this this is also the part where this the airport really comes to life adding in some foliage and um, just a couple of um, finer details I am um, going totally rogue on this one um, just filling in the gaps that I think are really necessary and really need a bit of um, a bit of detail and a bit of life um, also I'm just using a real mix of trees I, I don't really um, I'm not really sticking with a particular type of tree. There's so many brilliant trees, um, at tree assets out there on the workshop. Like using a vanilla tree would just be crazy at this stage. I think even people who play solid vanilla, like the solid vanilla game, don't even use the vanilla trees. Like they are so terrible. And um, you know, people like Mr. Mason and um, and uh, P. Delmo just creates just the sickest tree assets that. Ah oh, man, it just totally brings your city to life. Um, also, 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 I'm, I'm working on this path here. Well, you can see me trying to work on it. This is like a bit of a, I don't know, I feel like a running track, a bike uh, path for uh, people uh, who live around this area. Um, it's going to... I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to run it to. I feel like I want it to have its own separate bridge and, um, you know, I don't finish it at this stage. I kind of just start modeling it and I, I really like it. Like I really like these little hidden details uh, within uh, Springwoods. I really, you know, I enjoy building things like airports and downtowns and suburbs, but when it's a smaller details, like adding in this footpath, they're the things that I I friggin enjoy like that's that's the money that's the stuff that I really really like getting back to GTA that's I like that is why I love that game so much is the Easter eggs that those people place within that city I found to be far more interesting than the mechanics or the storyline of that game I really love when people go to huge amounts of detail huge amounts of effort for something that is only going to be seen by a small amount of people I, f I freaking love it and that is um, something that I want to be putting into spring way more if you are a mod or an asset creator out there please hit me up because I feel like I mean if you're channeling the same ideas that I'm channeling I think it'd be so cool to team up and be placing down um, little hidden Easter eggs that only people who really really follow the channel are picking up and um, you know that is something that I definitely want to be um, using more of I already do place quite a lot of little hidden uh, details that I think only certain people really pick up and I love that and I don't really like mentioning it however I do really enjoy it when people do comments about it or even say hey did you notice that diner that is based off something or um, you know did you realize that I did this it's it's cool it's cool and that again that's where the enjoyment is that's where I really really love this game <laughs> this is where I really love this channel as well. Um, but shit, guys, I've barely spoken about this uh, airport. Because, you know what, I'm about to get into the nitty gritty of it and how it um, all operates pretty shortly in a live play. 
Um, but before I get into it, I am just adding in some finer, finer details. Those fine details are billboards. And man, those billboards are just so nice. Um, I hate them in real life, but I love placing them down in City Skylines because I feel like every time I remember to place down a billboard, it's um, it always adds so much to the build and always adds so much to the area. Um, let me know if you feel the same way. I um, I actually really love these vanilla billboards as well, as well as the ones you saw me placing down earlier, which are on the assets, um, the Steam Workshop, which are also super pretty. But um, these vanilla ones are, are damn cool as well. I like to place them down, and um, I don't know. Someday I might just, I might just do a whole city that's based on vanilla assets. Who knows? We'll see how that um, idea goes down. But yeah. We are pretty much getting into the live play. Um, I'll catch you guys in a second, but yeah, enjoy the last little seconds of the um, time lapse. So, here's what we've been up to in the last few episodes of Springwood. We have episode 24 all the networks and all the runways and all the taxiways of this airport. And then in the last couple of um, videos from me, we've been working on this domestic terminal. Let's 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 start from the very entrance. So as you can see, there's, there is a lot of traffic. There's a lot of traffic coming from the international uh, terminal, which like I said, I mean, I'm getting planes landing here. Um, so there is quite a lot of traffic coming through and um, yeah I mean I guess this is like one of the easiest places for them to filter through so they're coming through here but I mean once this airport's really up and running I'll be getting more traffic through these areas here um, the entrance got this super nice interchange here I mean it's nothing too special however I do really like the layout of it I really like this little park and um, you know, I love the bridge that, um, you know, basically breaks the airport from um, the rest of the um, city. We have a one-way street going into the airport, which follows um, this way like this. Um, on the left, we have the smaller terminal, which um, holds the smaller planes for more regional flights around Springwood. Um, then we also have a couple of industrial and um, other buildings office buildings I guess a couple of parking lots here is the in and out burger really like the way this one looks um, yeah got this taxi rank taxi ranks are pretty important for an airport so I kind of put one over here um, I do have a couple of taxi ranks hidden around um, this um, train this um, airport as well um, the tram line is not the tram line the monorail line is just so great like I freaking love it so much it looks so nice um, it, I'm so happy to actually have monorails driving around my city now which is so 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 good this side of the terminal we have the pretty much every brand of um, airline Transcon we have Springwood Air and we also have um, CS Airlines all custom made by Bisquigglehausen, super nice. Here's also the textures that I was talking about, the dock ones. Um, what else can I talk about? I, I feel like I could watch this all day. I'm, I'm, I need to get some more cars driving um, on this uh, over overpath, I guess, elevated path. Elevated road, I should probably say, is the real term for it. Um, I'd love to see some more traffic coming through here. I'm trying to figure out how I can get some traffic. By the way, I spoke about this before. Um, to get traffic coming into this terminal, I've put some, uh, I put some of these events generators. They're hidden in this parking lot, which means I get people coming into the airport so that I can see it functioning. Unfortunately, it is not functioning. Um, only the international one is, which is such a pain in the ass. I mean, you'll see air, um, aircraft landing on this strip and on this strip. I've got a couple of different 
um, taxi uh, aeroplane stands here and um, there's one hidden over here as well but they're just they're just not landing there I'd really love your advice guys I seriously would um, this side of the terminal is where Air Springwood is um, departing from this is probably my favorite section of um, this airport so far um, I really like the way that um, you know having all the same aircraft on one side um, particularly this circular terminal right here I think is really really nice and um, it'd be really really great if I can actually start getting some aircraft coming through um, we are getting like super amounts of traffic I like that I like heaps of traffic I think it looks way more realistic I, I know Sydney Airport is just full of traffic which is you know super shit when you're a passenger but you know in terms of like building a realistic city I mean, it looks pretty cool the one thing I think people are gonna get pretty triggered by is my attempt of building a um, kind of like a docking station I mean or even a repair station or you know probably about more the mechanics of a cargo section of um, an airport this is my only attempt and I think it's pretty a uh, pretty lousy attempt However, I'm probably just going to leave it at that. Let me know if you can think of something I can do to create a more realistic cargo center for this airport and I'll be more than happy to stick it in. For now, that's what we got. I'm pretty sure that's like a grain silo or something. Um, yeah, what else can I show? A couple of road lines. I think are pretty nice. I mean, not super perfect. But like I always say, I mean, Springwood is not perfect. And um, my technique is definitely not perfect as well. So um, kind of keep that in mind. Hmm, what else can I show? Hmm. It's, it's really good. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, especially seeing some people actually using it. Next episode... At least the next episode for Springwood. I'm going to be working on the the, the international uh, terminal, and I dare say it's going to take another two videos to actually finish it off. Um, maybe even more, because I mean the international is going to be a lot larger, and it's going to be way more complex. I'm really really excited for it. I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna dive straight into it this weekend, to be honest, and um, I'm hoping to release a couple of episodes within the week. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I mean, that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. Um, and again, if you've enjoyed it, um, please show your appreciation or your enthusiasm for Springwood by hitting that like button and showing your enthusiasm. I'd, I'd really, really like that. If there's any little bits and pieces you want me to stick in this uh, build, if you want me to add some extra things, please let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm all ears. I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, I mean, that is it. Until next episode, have a great week and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.